Sri Lanka's politicians have generally not been known to keep to their promises. And this is what we must call for above all, accountability and good governance. More on the Western Provincial Council elections after the break. Welcome back. So will the upcoming Western Provincial Council elections be free of violence? According to election monitors, there are signs of escalating violence in the days leading up to the elections. I spoke to Kingsley Rodrigo of the People's Action for Free and Fair Elections to get a better understanding of the situation. The Western Provincial Council elections are set to be held on the 25th of April 2009. And PAFRAL is a monitoring organization that makes sure that the elections are held free and fairly, even on election day. Um, now, looking at the weeks leading up to the elections, what records do you have of violence and violations of election laws? The thing is, uh, after giving the nominations, up to end of March, we didn't have much uh, uh, election uh, related violence. But after the end of March, I think now there's an increase of violence in various districts like Kalutara and Gampa especially. I think that's a really a problem because uh, in the previous election in, West, in Central and Wyambar, we didn't have any kind of uh, election violations in the pre-election period. So we said that it was a very good one and all that. But uh, uh, continuously when we see what happened in the election related violence uh, belongs to the Western province, now we have found uh, uh, now the violations are increasing very badly. In what the last sort of violations have taken place? Well, I think uh, that is another problem because uh, most of the violations are belong to the political parties, belong to the politi uh, pol political parties, party officers have been destroyed and uh, taken away by uh, some of the ga gangs, which we have seen in the last uh, uh, 26th of March, we have found that uh, five uh, officers belongs to JVP was uh, destroyed in the same day. So this shows that it was very well, well planned and it was done like that, you know. If you really see in Kalutara and Gampa also, the politicians are playing hell really. The, the, the politicians belong to the government. As monitors, what actions do you take when these violations take place? Yeah, what we do is we are meeting the political parties and we are describing the entire systems to the political parties, how to minimize the violations. And we have met uh, JVP, we have met UNP and various other political parties also, but uh, we could not meet the government political party yet. Uh, I think we are going to meet them in the next one week. Okay, so what sort of response did you get from the political parties that yeah, you meet? I mean, they say that uh, they are doing their maximum to minimize the violations, but uh, unfortunately uh, the gangs belong to the politicians and the candidates are the people who are really working on this and uh, they are the people who have been uh, doing this for the last uh, several weeks. Okay, so now the reports on the violations that take place that you all produce, does anyone take it into consideration? Yes, of course, the government, uh, I think uh, the election commissioner and the police and the other people who like to have free and fair elections will take it uh, very seriously. And um, we, we have said that uh, the last election, the Central and Weimar was went well, even on the election day, uh, the, uh, the violations were not there. And uh, we have said that it was a very free and fair one compared to the previous elections. But unfortunately, this uh, Provincial councils uh, belong to the Western province. Uh, it's different now. It, it, it was there till end of March, but now in the last one week, uh, the, when you see the complaints, you will see that there are several uh, new complaints are coming up, and uh, there's a big uh, difference between that election and this election. Now, most election violations take place on the election day itself. What sort of measures are you all going to take to ensure that there won't be any violence on yeah, that day? Yeah, the thing is, in, according to the present system, 
അവർ ഒബ്സർവേഴ്സ് ആ ഇൻ ദ പോളിംഗ് സ്റ്റേഷൻസ് ദ ആർ സ്റ്റേയിങ് ദർ ആൻഡ് ദേ വിൽ ലുക്ക് ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ടു വാട്ട്സ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ദ സിസ്റ്റം ആൻഡ് വി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു കംപ്ലെയിൻ അവർ സെൽസ് ടു ദ ഇലക്ഷൻ കമ്മീഷൻ ഇഫ് ദർസ് എനി മാൽ പ്രാക്ടീസ് ഓർ എനി റഗിങ് ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റേക്കൺ പ്ലേസ് ആൻഡ് അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം അവർ മുംബൈ ഒബ്സർവേഴ്സ് ഓൾസോ ട്രാവലിംഗ് ഓൾ ഓവർ ദ ഐലൻഡ് ഓ വെൻ യു ഹാവ് ദ ഇലക്ഷൻ ഓൾ ഓവർ ദി ഐലൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റേ ആൻഡ് ഇവൻ ദി വെസ്റ്റേൺ പ്രോവിൻസ് ദർ ആർ തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് ഇലക്ടോറൽ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട്സ് ആർ ദർ ആൻഡ് അവർ മൊബൈൽ ഒബ്സർവേഴ്സ് വിൽ ബി ട്രാവലിംഗ് and they will uh, look into those things and uh, when when the candidates and their supporters when they were trying to do it they will uh, stop it but uh, the 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 candidates and the others are stop the violations so i think that's a good thing in your opinion what do you think the situation will be like in the days to come and even on election day i think the campaign has started and now i think i told you that uh, in the last one week uh, i mean uh, there's increase of violence but i hope that because of this uh, new year dates and all that uh, there might be uh, stop to those violations and after the new year i think only 10 days so then uh, they they don't have enough uh, uh, chance to may uh, have violations but uh, i think uh, uh, there will be less violations in the future we hope that it will be like that Okay, thank you so much thank for you. being with us on the program today. In a week's time, Sri Lankans all over the country and even the world will celebrate the Sinhala and Tamil New Year. This has traditionally been a time where family bonds are renewed and the new year is ushered in auspiciously. In our next report, we remember the 50,000 or so security forces on duty in the north. many of who will not be able to join their families this new year with the war being at a decisive stage right now the wish of these families are that their loved ones will come home safely if not for the new year then in the near future at least punya kanthi has only been married a year and will spend her first new year without her husband she is still getting used to being the wife of a soldier but is resigned to the situation in the home of her husband's family far away from her own not down take you are with them in a palavani or the me or the it is really man get ready man matale in the world that in the kabala did me or the my my try get there in a mahatya mahatya gaya in the name of the wind in the name of the vela sunni maudu evil gaya mahatya palavani misi atani maudu gaya අයත් වේලා සනින් ගියා නිවරුද දෙන්නම අවුරුද්දට gedara ne ඉතින් අම්මයි මායි මේ වුණාට ඉතින් අවුරුද්දට සූදානම් වුණා පුණ්‍ය කාන්ති has been the wife of a soldier for one year but with two sons in the army one for as long as 10 years her mother in law has had more time to get used to the idea and although uneasy with it continues to prepare the traditional new year sweets as she used to when the family was together චුටි පුතා අනේ ලොකු මම චුටි පුතා ඉස්සෙල්ල ගියා ඉතින් කරන්න දෙයක් නැහැ මම ගොඩක් මට ඉඳ ඇඬුණා අන්ටලාන්ලා අන්තිමට මම ඇස් දෙක ඇරෙන්නේ නැති තරමට මම තිබුණා ගොඩක් බයෙන් තමයි අපි ඉන්නේ වවුනියා දිහා මේ මොන හරි බෝම්බ පිපුරු හරි මේ කිව්වා ඉතින් ගොඩක් දුකෙන් ඉන්නම අපි දෙන්නම ඉතින් කරන්න දෙයක් නැහැ තොරතුරක් දැනගන්න තියෙන්නේ නැහැ පිළක් කරලාට කෝල් එකක් දුන්නත් මේ ගන්න බෑ ඒගොල්ලන්ට ඉතින් ගොඩක් දුකයි පාටින් පාන්සල් යනවා පාන තියෙනවා දෙයියන්ට බාර වෙනවා ඒ වගේ දේවල් ගොඩක් කරලා තමයි පුතාර දින විචිර කාලයක් අපි ආරක්ෂා කරගත්තේ Sri Lanka's armed forces have been shouldering the burden of achieving victory on the battlefield over the past few months It has been a difficult time for thousands of soldiers who have faced intense fighting Their motives for enlisting may be varied. A well-paid job, a special calling, a chance to serve the country. But whatever the reason, their families want the war to end. And this new year, that is what they pray for. The safe return of their loved ones with no fear of loss in the future. If they were waking up bala par to tamai ni dang ape diyenne ഹോപ്പ് ദ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ കം ട്രൂ നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ഫോർ ദ ഫോഴ്സസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫാമിലീസ് 
but for everyone else whose lives have been impacted by the war in Sri Lanka. Like to make any comments about the program? Then please write to us at Sri Lanka Today at yartv.net. Thank you for watching. Until next week, you take care.